Good morning and God bless you. Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 2 and verse number 3, Amplify Version. Honor, esteemed, value as precious your father and your mother, and be respectful to them. This is the first commandment with a promise. Verse number three, so that it may be well with you and that you may have a long life on the earth. Hallelujah. <laughs> what a word from God. God cares so much about us. He wants the best for us. He wants us to be successful. But then... Every of God's desire and promises have premises. There are places where yam cannot grow. I don't know till now, I doubt if in all Africa, a pool can grow. So there are places where things strive. That is what God is trying to do with his word in our life. That in order to enjoy maximally a good life, a well life, eternally and externally, and have a long life, you need to honor your father and mother. So it is not a honor that is conditional, that you have to, okay, I will honor them here, and when it is, no, 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 no. It's not for your parents that you are honoring them. You are not honoring your parents for them. You are honoring them for you. The day you understand that, it will be very easy to obey the word of God. You're not doing it for your mother or your father. You're doing it for you that it may be well with you. Not that it may be well with them. So if you honor your father and mother, you are not helping them. You are helping you. He says so that it may be well with you. Uh, and that uh, you, again, may have long life on earth. So, check it out, people that are young, in one way or the other. There may be any other reason, but one of them is when they have not learned how to honor their father and mother. And I'm going to take the rest of the week sitting down with the scripture on how to honor your parents. This scripture began by telling us that to honor father and mother, number one, esteem them. Esteem means raise them up. Esteem means lift them up. Put them on a higher pedestal. Don't ever look at yourself being equal to your parent, even if they don't have money. In fact, if they don't have money, that's the more reason why you should honor them. Because in the midst of they are not having, they became the vehicle through which you come to the earth, and God has helped them cater for you when you couldn't cater for yourself. Even when they don't have, most parents make a lot of sacrifices for their children. And let me say this before I get into the needs of this teaching. Make sure you never get to a place on earth where you don't have fathers and mothers. Never be an orphan. Now you're asking me, what if my parents had died? You should always replace them. Have father figure, mother figure in your life. And the honor you should have given your parents when they are alive, you look for someone to give it to. Why? Uh, it's just like when there's no water in your house. What do you do? You take your bucket, looking for water everywhere. Exactly. Because the blessing and the promise is tied to honor father and mother. Don't allow circumstances and situations to deny you of that so that it will be well with you and so that you will live long. Did anybody get that? That's cool. So esteem your parent uh, is the way to honor them. Don't ever think you're equal in anything. All right? Don't ever let money be the disarming factor that makes you call your mother, eh, madam, or, you know, dishonor them in any way, all right? Uh, so you must esteem them. Number two, value them as precious. Most of us have a lot of precious things in our houses, uh, TV to those who like it, or phone, or, you know, one thing or the other, some people is their car. God wants you to value your 
father and mother as precious. Treat them like good. Protect them. You know, wash them with the washing of the world. Care for them. That is the secret for your wealth and for your long life. Then number three, be respectful to your parents. Always know that respect is honor to parents. Don't ever make your parents feel dishonor in any way. And I'm going to begin to state how to respect your parents, one after another. And then if we can't get it done today, we'll continue tomorrow. Number one, have a positive thought about your parents. Um, emotions and thought, they work together. If I think less of something, my emotion will eventually show it. Most people dishonor their father or mother when their thought about their father or mother comes down. Learn how to have a positive thought. Create a positive thought about your parents. See them as people who have lived their life for you, who are there for you when you are not there for yourself. Imagine your mother carrying you for nine months. Just have a positive thought. Look down on their weaknesses and just look for their strength. And then your emotions will change with your thought. You can't honor a man you think less about. That's why honor is difficult for many people. It has to begin with having a right thought about parenting and about parents, about fathers, about mothers, about the people who are responsible for you. Start by thinking positive about them. Tomorrow, we take it from here. But I want you to do something. Write under this YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, wherever you are listening to me, something good about your parents. I'm going to check it out. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.